After he had seen the Son of Man and Head of Days, Enoch is taken to another part of the heavens, where he sees the luminaries and talks about their courses and relations according to their name, origin, and months, dominion, and seasons. Archangel Uriel was the guide of the luminaries, and so it was he who guided Enoch this time, showing him all the laws and regulations of the luminaries exactly as they are. The first of the luminaries is called the sun, and the sun has its rising in the eastern doors of heaven and its setting in the western doors of heaven. And Enoch saw six doors in which the sun rises and six doors in which the sun sets. The moon also rises and sets in these doors, as well as the stars which they lead, each one following the other in corresponding order. Each of these doors also bore many windows to their right and left, and the sun traversed these doors and windows as it rose from the east and set in the west until it had accomplished its daily course. And according to its set course, some days are longer and the nights shorter, and some nights are longer and the days shorter. This great luminary called the sun resembles a great orb filled with illuminating and heating fire. It ascends and descends on a chariot driven by the wind. As he rises, so he sets and decreases not, and rests not, but runs day and night, his light sevenfold brighter than that of the moon. The sun has two names. The first name is Orjaris, and the second is Thomas. The second luminary is a smaller luminary called the moon. Her orbit is like a sphere, and she also rides in a chariot driven by the wind as she completes her daily and monthly course, and light is given to her in measurement. Her rising and setting change every month, and her days are like the days of the sun, and when her light is completely full, it amounts to the seventh part of the light of the sun. In single seventh parts, she accomplishes all her light in the east, and in single seventh parts, she accomplishes all her darkness in the west. In certain months, she alters her settings, and in certain months, she pursues her own peculiar course. Then Uriel showed Enoch how light is transferred to the moon by the sun, and on which side it is transferred to her by the sun. During the beginning of the month, the moon grows in on the light transferred to her by the sun, until the fourteenth day, when she is at her peak. On that fourteenth day, she is directly opposite to the sun, and is ablaze throughout, and her light is full in heaven. On that day, she is called the full moon. After this, she gradually wanes until all the light vanishes, and all the days of the month are at an end, and her sphere becomes empty, void of light. The moon has four names. The first name is Asonya, and the second name is Ebla. The third name is Benase, and the fourth name is Ire. Thus, Enoch had seen their positions, and how the sun and the moon rose and set in those days.